this. I'll just go to the next one. For know. this one, it's just a series of sports moves because obviously we have a big portfolio of sports games, so we wanted to see you know, how's it going to look for this? How's it going to look for the other sports? And again, something that I, I'm always looking at is the overall posture. Is it holding up? Is it looking like what the talent is doing? And, and, it, and it's, it's very, it's, I would say it's very close. Again, you can see the feet when he's jumping around. It's not skipping, it's not skipping from different spots. And so. What sports was that? <laughs> and then for this one, this one. Oh. The, the chair here is actually a one-to-one -one build to the actual chair. So this one, we want to show the interaction with environment props. How accurate is it? Because that's something that's really important for us. When we do big mocap mo shoots, we have a lot of set props. If it's, especially if it's cinematic, there's a lot of scenes. So we wanted to see how the talent and how the results and how accurate it would be. So when I talk about, if you can look here, um, when he puts his hand on, on, on his thigh, you can see that for the optical, the hand rotation is more accurate here. So again, this is an example of giving all the use cases to move and to look at that and to be able to help train their, I might not be saying this right, but your processing model and how to really look at all the different cases and keep improving as we go, right? And so, yeah, right there, that's a good example right there. You can see it's going a little bit through the thigh, oh, but again, um, give all the examples and keep evolving um, the quality right there. And the next one, um, for these tests, we really like using stairs because it really validates the accuracy not only on the floor calibration, but also, especially for this one, again, a one-to-one -one 3D build of, of the prop. You can see that each step for, for here, it's really hitting it. Whether he's going sideways, whether he's, he's walking um, forward, going up. And then later on, you're gonna actually see um, the talent walk up the stairs and jump on a ground plane if you can just really take a look at when he does that but he'll land right on the floor and that's something that's really important for myself and a team because it shows a floor calibration and that's something you really want that to be good before passing on to game teams you don't want their animators to be um and cleaning up the floor plane ground penetration and all that so that's something we usually do we want to do some validation so I haven't seen that thing go haywire at all, like the, mo the move one. Sometimes you'll see jitters and things. I'm going to skip to the next one. So this one, yeah. this one is actually, I, I don't have too much to say is this one, but um, this one was we're interested to see, hey, how, how is props going to look? And so we, we, did, a, we did a test where um, we captured a ball. We had someone that's very good at soccer, and he juggled, and this is the result. We haven't, um, for, for ball is the extent of... Um, right now of our collaboration, seeing how that looks. I, I would imagine later on it would evolve to different sort of props, but right now this is the result that we got for ball tracking, and you can see for yourself here, it's pretty accurate.